Hello and welcome back to Infinity Remote Control. I'm John and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the motors on this EcoPower uh, quadcopter. Uh, this is the same for any of the Hubsons, uh, the X4 or the uh, Traxxas quadcopters. Uh, you could also use the same technique to replace the board on this quadcopter, uh, but in this case I'm just going to re be replacing one of these motors. So whenever you crash, um, what happens is these motors can jam up and depending on how bad the crash is, they can jam up worse. Uh, so you can see those are spinning freely. Then this one does not spin freely at all. So here I'll plug in the battery just to give you an example. Uh, start up, bind it, and you can see that whenever I start to power it on, that motor does not spin. So we're gonna fix that. Uh, what you'll need to do first is get a new motor. And you can tell which one you need based on if it spins uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. So this one is spinning clockwise. You can also tell by the color of the wires on this model. Uh, so you can see that the counterclockwise is going to be the black and white. This one that I need to replace is blue and red. One thing that you can do to fix this issue if it's not too bad is just spin the prop in the rotation that it would normally spin. And uh, if you do that for a while, it can get better. Also, if you just fly around with it, if it is flyable, it will sometimes work itself out because these are brushed motors. So the brushes have just jammed. Uh, but in this case, it's not gonna be fixable. Um, so I'll show you the motor that I have. It's this one right here. And uh, the process for replacing it is quite simple. You do need to have a soldering iron with a very small tip. Um, and just basic soldering skills. So the first step is to flip it over and start removing all of the screws. Make sure to use a very small screwdriver when doing this. Once you have all the screws removed, you can just simply separate the two plates. Uh, it may take a little bit of force, but it should be fairly easy. There's absolutely nothing attached to this one now unless you left some of the screws in. Uh, all the screws are the same, so it doesn't matter if you sort them out. Okay, so the next step is going to be to, again, just locate which one you're replacing, this one. So I'm going to pop off the prop. That just comes right off. It may take a little bit of force the first couple of times, but it's not that bad. Now you can see that the motor uh, comes off there, and then it's soldered to those two points. Make sure to take a picture, just make a mental note of which one is in the front, depending on which way you're working on it. So the front of the quad is there, so the red one is in front. Um, so I'll just place that down and then uh, start soldering. Uh, I found that there are a couple ways to do this, but what you want to do is just apply the slightest bit of force to whichever one, and then it just pops right off. Like that. Okay, so next I'm just going to kind of clean up the two solder points that were uh, on there. I unfortunately have some very thick solder. So I'll have to do this quite delicately. Uh, make sure to kind of avoid any components. And uh, I'm soldering at about 600 degrees. So you can see that there are now two. Let me see if I can get a good view there. So there are two nice balls of solder that I can solder onto. Okay, so here's the new motor. Start by soldering on the red wire. I uh, remember that one, in my case, went in the very front. So I'm just going to place that on top, kind of heat up that bead of solder, and then just let it go back to a solid. Uh, do that again. All right, and that's it. All right, next I'm just gonna start to twist up these wires. Uh, I don't know how many twists you need exactly, but I would just do it and then test, mock it up, and then see how much extra you have. So you can see I still have a little bit of extra there. So I'll continue twisting. And let's test it again. You wanna make sure that it can actually run down the side of the motor like that. So I'd say 
that's just about good. So now what you're going to do is embed that wire into these little notches that they already have within the frame. And I find that if your fingernails aren't quite long enough, what you can do is just push it all the way in with a screwdriver. Phillips, a small Phillips will work. Uh, the same one that you use to remove the screws or you can also go ahead and use a flat head but once you have that done uh, you're pretty much finished all you have to do is flip it over put the prop on I like to do that so that I know that the motor is all the way up flush with the top of this whenever I'm putting the frame on it seems to be a little bit easier and if you're replacing this frame itself uh, all you do is you just do that to all of these and I would definitely recommend taking a picture before you do that just so that you remember what how each of these wires is soldered so with that I'm just gonna pop the top of this back on oh one thing to note is that there are all of these screw points and the wires here will sometimes get in the way so make sure that you really do push those down around and it'll make your life a lot easier and then you just kinda wiggle that back on um, and then you just screw everything back in.